In less than an hour, President Biden will make his third State of the Union address. It comes as most Americans describe the country as divided. That's according to a new CBS News poll. The other top answers of that poll were declining and weak. Let's get out to CBS 2's Natalie Brand. She's live on Capitol Hill. Natalie, what issues are you expecting the president to focus on? Hey, Jessica, good to be with you. Well, we expect him to focus on those issues that are top of mind for the American public, according to our polling, which includes, of course, immigration, the economy, uh, also abortion, post Roe versus Wade. Those are some of the key themes that we are expecting to hear tonight. The president will make a case that the economy is improving under his watch, that there's been uh, significant job growth. He'll point to some of the bipartisan initiatives such as the infrastructure bill that passed by Congress that has led to uh, new job opportunities. He's also expected to call on Congress to expand the cap for prescription drug out-of-pocket costs to all private insurance so more Americans can benefit from that beyond uh, Medicare. And he's expected to pitch raising the corporate minimum tax rate. And then, of course, on foreign policy, when you have wars continuing to, to rage in, in Gaza and Ukraine, uh, he will focus heavily on, on the issue of foreign aid. And we've learned, Jessica, that he's expected to announce plans uh, for the U.S. military to help build uh, a port in the Mediterranean that could help get more humanitarian aid into Gaza. That would be a big announcement. Natalie, we know State of the Union every year, a big night for Washington and, of course, the president. But why does this year's speech take on extra significance? Yeah, it absolutely does. And keep in mind, this is an official speech. It's not a campaign speech, but it comes during campaign time, a, a huge election year where the president will be trying to highlight <laughs> contrasts and also uh, make a case for another term in office. And as you were talking about in that polling, this does come at a time when, according to CBS polling, most Americans okay. say they continue to feel like things are going badly in the country and so we'll have to address that as well all right natalie brand live on capitol hill natalie thank you and for everyone at home in just a few minutes you can watch the state of the union and the republican response live on cbs2 that coverage starts at nine o'clock